Okay, yeah. so the judges actually have sort of summarized all that I wanted to say, but I can add on something more. Okay, so uh, today I want to talk more about communication. Okay, uh, the judges have talked a lot about technique, musicality, playing from your heart, you know, uh, music is about like what uh, Mr. Eguchi said, it's about conveying your feelings to to the party, to the, to the person right in front of you. Although the person may be like miles away, but you imagine like the person is just in front of you. Okay, so heart to heart. Okay, this is very, very important in becoming a, a, an effective performer. Okay, but now I want to just add on to this kind of communication. Um, not only uh, a, a good performer must be able to convey their heart, okay, but you must also be able to convey your heart accurately. Okay, accurately is the word. So in other words, you got to really understand your piece that you are playing so well. You got to achieve the kind of understanding. Not only you need to understand, you got to grasp it and put it into your heart and believe it. If you don't believe what you are playing, even though you understand, uh, I understand, but I don't believe. So it's not part of you. So if there's something that is not part of you, how are you going to convey your message convincingly? So it's like, a, a, you know, you are selling stuff, you know, say, hey, come buy my this one. You know, it's so soft. I hug it to sleep every night. You will have sweet dreams. Uh, but actually, I never do it. <laughs> I got another bear upstairs, but it's not this one. So I'm actually telling you a lie. So, you know, the way I talk, like, I'm kind of hypocrite. Ah, bye la, bye la, you know? Yeah. But actually, I'm not convincing enough. Then you will say, sure not. You mean I buy this one, I will get sweet dreams? I say, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, la, yeah, la, you try, la, you try. Do I sound convincing to you? No, right? Oh. Okay. Because I'm like, I'm like hesitating, you know? So most importantly, your communication must be sincere, like what Mr. Eguchi said. Your communication must be from your heart. But one more thing is you must believe it. You must truly believe what you are sharing, what you are selling. If not, you can never do it in an effective way. Okay? So um, music is like a language, you know. Uh, but this is one language that you can freely speak. If you speak in English, in Japanese, in Malay, in Indian, whatever language, if you say the wrong thing, the authorities they can come after you and sue you for slandering me or whatever. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Okay? Yeah. So, but in, in music, it's like a language. You can play anything. You can sing anything. And nobody can say, hey, you are uh, cursing me or what? And I'm going to sue you or no. Right? Okay? So, it's a language you can freely speak. All your heartfelt moments you can just put into your music. Okay, now this is not a very easy thing to do. And in this competition, there are 30 of you. I found a handful who really touched my heart in a very special way. I'm going to name some names, but I can't name everyone because it's uh, probably about one third of you. I, I will just pick up the four which really touched my heart so so much, which communicated to my soul, actually, because I felt goosebumps or I jumped or something like that. Or I was, like, just enjoying the whole process, the whole music. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, mention names, okay? Uh, the first from the junior section, um, Liam Alfaras, he played the Kachaturian, Two gossiping old women. <laughs> um, okay. Not to offend anyone. Uh, it's, it's not meant to be a, a, a rude remark, but it's actually a compliment. The moment I on his recording, he started... I started laughing. I burst out laughter. I couldn't, I couldn't contain my <laughs> the laughter. You know, I laugh so loud. I'm like, you know why? Because the way he played really sounded like those, uh, you know, those busy bodies in the market and they start to gossip <laughs> with one another nonstop and they talk very fast. And, and Liam managed to actually come up to that speed. And uh, the piano that he was playing was a little bit honky-tonk in, 
in 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 the tone, and it it made the the piece actually sounded more appropriate. So in a way. Although the piano didn't sound like very nice because it felt a little bit honky tonk, but mm. it actually uh was very suitable for this piece because it sounds like a you know those um bullet you know bullet a uh, bullet pistol you know what do you call that those those what do you call that machine gun uh, yeah the kind of what kind of gun like yeah so I kept laughing because it was like so real really like two gossiping old women. Mm -hmm. And then he also had some showmanship, you know. And he flung his hand like that, and it reminded me of those women that go, "Ah, I don't want, I don't want, ah, I don't," you know. So it was so appropriate. I was like, hardly believe it. Like it was so entertaining for me. So based on this, and his technique was quite good also. Although I felt that he banged a little bit, but it was kind of appropriate for this piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. So that he actually impressed me. Okay. okay, so the second uh, person I want to talk about is uh, Gabriel Sia from the classical senior section. He played actually the Greeks, much of the dwarves, or you can call much of the trolls. So this troll thing, okay, is a kind of creature in the, normally they use it in the Norwegian folklore mm. stories, you know. Mm. And I'm sure if you read Annie Blyton, is it Annie Blyton for the old gener older generation? Okay, yeah. I read Anna Blyton, and uh, we have pixies, fairies, uh, you know, trolls. We 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 see all this kind. You know how they look like, and trolls are very naughty creatures. They like to create havoc, and they are rather evil also. Because okay, so these trolls they are actually from no, uh, it's like from Norway, you know, and these trolls they will like appear at night, you know, when everyone is asleep, and they will go to the. Norway, Norwegian household and they will create havoc. Yeah, they will maybe steal their things or do like mess up their gardens or whatever. For, for, uh, you know, so it's like they are very, very mischievous. So Gabriel actually, um, he played the... It sounded like... <laughs> it sounded like mm. a kind of mischievous laughter or even evil laughter. So I mm. think that was very appropriate the way he played that. So that make me felt wow impressed me and entertained me as well so mm -hmm. yeah so he communicated the story very well you know okay and then the third uh uh contestant i want to talk about is uh from the junior section the cute little doll <laughs> her name is anna anna c yes the moment she started to um self intro i look at her dressing i look at her big bonnet and then i look at the doll that she put on her piano it was like wow they really have the effort they really make the effort to make the surrounding not only her playing the surrounding like so it's like you are watching a movie you know since she she played austin's uh, uh the doll's dream so mm. it's about dolls you see yeah, so she dressed up like a doll and she she by right she's already very cute. Plus she dressed up like a doll, she really looked at the, like a doll. And then she put her cute doll on the piano. And then she she the way she talked also like a doll. And then she went to the piano. And then from the first part, even before she played, she already gained marks. <laughs> you know what I mean or not? Yeah, be, before even she started playing, I, I saw right, I say, even if you don't tell me you are playing the doll's dream, I would have guessed. Something mm -hmm. to do with dolls. Yeah. So, from in her case, her presentation communicated so well with me. It just, oh, I understand. Like she, she gave me the understanding. Yeah. Okay. So, um, lastly, I want to talk about someone whom just now a lot of judges has been talking about him. I thought, okay, maybe I should talk about someone else, but I just can't help. But I still have to mention him again, and he is from the pop section, uh, Mr. Stephen Lim. Mm. Okay, he played the Messiah. Okay, um, it's his original composition. What impressed me most about his performance was the climactic part. Um, the part where he had a co block chords going up in chromaticism. Dong, 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 dong. Then after that, he went up in chromatics higher and higher until the last note he go, dong, and his whole head and his whole body shook. And you know what I felt? I felt the world shook. 
Because why? The Messiah, Jesus himself, sweated blood. It was like so intense. Dum! It's time for the Messiah to go and die. You know? So the world was like in a standstill. Wow! It, sh- it really pierced my heart. It was like, oh, I got goosebumps. Dum! And you know, his, his uh, showmanship, he was like, Dum! wow! Like it really hit him also and hit me back. So I felt was was so touching at that moment. I felt I was like, oh, that is so incredible. I yeah. felt the love of Christ even more that he's dying for us. You know, he, the way he did it, you know, it's not just about you being able to play well. Your showmanship must be there. You must be totally absorbed into your music. Don't be superficial. You got to be true to your music. Okay, don't care about what people think of you, how you look like. Okay, I mean, I was guilty of that uh, when I was, uh, just tell you my some of my stories when I was in the uni. Mm-hmm. Um, initial part, uh, that was uh, in my first year. I was uh, actually, you know, all girls are kind of vain, uh, you know. <laughs> so when, when you're playing a sad piece, an intense piece, you know the camera was like coming your way and you didn't want to look ugly, you know. So mm-hmm. you know what you did? I mean, what I did? I yeah. smile at the most intense part, which is crazy on me. My teacher scolded me. He said, what are you doing? I said, the uh-huh. camera. Uh-huh. I mean, I know my face is going, because you know, like Mitsuko Uchida, the great, uh, the, 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 the Japanese pianist, she, she recorded the whole Mozart sonatas. She, her hair was like, you know, very like mad, a little bit mad like that. And then the way she played, oh, 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 wow. You see her facial expression was like, oh, okay, I'm not, not to, um, not to disregard her face, but I must say, like, kind of yeah. ugly. Yeah. But I felt that was very professional because she didn't care how she looked like. She only cared for the music. She only cared for the music. Okay, so the, in other words, do not be self-conscious. Always give, you know, priority to the music, how your music is going to sound. Don't care yeah. how you look like. Don't care whether the camera is coming your way and you put an honest smile. Okay. So this is my experience. Uh, when I look back my my videos, I was like, oh my goodness, so unprofessional. So from oh. then on, I learned my lesson. Yes. Okay, this is mainly for ladies. I know the guys are fine, but uh, yeah, young ladies. Thank you. Young ladies, huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. So that is what I want to say about uh, communication. So mm. it is so very important, okay? Uh, communicating well with your audience. With, uh, yeah. So a good performer, okay, a performer is like a storyteller, storyteller telling the story. But a great performer is like a great storyteller brings you into the story. So you are actually in the story, yes. Okay, you are a performer, you play. I say, oh, the story like that. Oh, I see. I'm like a third party. But a great performer, someone like Stephen Lim, okay, he actually transported me into the Garden of Gethsemane. I could, oh, I saw Jesus shedding blood. I felt I was there. That is what it means by a true hot-blooded <laughs> performance. Okay, so that is like a great storyteller who brings you into the story itself, into the, the, the environment, into the place itself, transport you. So let's try to be this kind of performer. Mm. Okay, take away all your self-consciousness, just be absorbed in the music itself. Forget about everything, only you and the music. And everything will just fall nicely. Then you will be a great performer. And you'll be able to share your music more effectively and we audience will be so much more entertained and so much more inspired and and fed, F-E-D. We are fed Mm -hmm. because you are feeding us with your food. So you must give us good food, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, your ingredients must be fresh. Your ingredients are like what? Your technique, your musicality, all the other criteria that makes up a good communication. Okay, so that's my sharing. Oh, yeah. Another thing, uh, I also want to congratulate actually all the finalists. You have come so far, you are actually all winners. So I'm 
still very, very proud of you that you have come so far. You have like, there are 130 over uh, contestants to begin with, and now it's only 30 of you. Okay, so back to you, uh, Mark, to announce the oh, top five. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for, thank you for sharing. Thank you, Vivian.